And now it's time for a couple of things in the news that caught my eye. And this note from Synology is important if you're using one of their NAS devices. They are urging all users to take immediate action to protect themselves from a ransomware attack. Apparently, there are some hackers who have been out scouting the internet for publicly accessible Synology devices. Uh, what you can do, of course, is poke a hole in your router and forward a port over to your Synology's control panel so you can log into it remotely. A lot of people do this, and it's kind of a risky thing to do if you don't have uh, your Synology behind a VPN, for example. And what's happening is, is that people are going out looking for these devices. They are taking the admin username that most people apparently use and then run a dictionary attack against it. So this is not a vulnerability per se in the operating system. It's just that they uh, guess that everyone's going to be using admin for the default username, and they try a whole bunch of different word and letter and number combinations until they hit. And when they log in, they can then execute a script to uh, infect your uh, device with ransomware. And that's been the process here. So Synology has some suggestions for you. Uh, the first, of course, is to have a complex and strong password that would be very hard to guess with a dictionary attack. Uh, they also suggest creating a new account in the administrator group and to disable the default admin account because if it's admin, it gives them another uh, easy point of entry there. And if they have to guess the username and the password, it's going to be a lot less likely you'll be compromised. Uh, they also suggest to use auto block in the control panel to block IP addresses. Uh, that have too many failed attempts, and they suggest running the security advisor, which will go through your passwords and make sure there's no weak password in your system that another user might have created. Uh, but my suggestion really is to take your Synology device and not put it in front of your router, put in a VPN server, and have the Synology sit on your local network accessible only to people that can log in with the VPN. Uh, that's probably the best way to go here. But if you have to keep your device exposed, definitely follow these warnings here and protect yourself. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, emudev.org, Tom Albrecht, Brian Parker, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.